Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. How many real values of x exist that satisfy the equation root over 2x minus 1 plus root over x minus 1 is equal to 1? So this is a multiple choice question where we are asked to find how many solutions exist and these, ha these has to be real solutions and an equation is given uh, with square roots now what i will show here today is an easy way of solving this equation uh, this is an equation with square roots and one obvious way of doing this is you know uh, taking squares and getting rid of the square roots and uh, that could be sometimes pretty time consuming so so what's an easier way to do uh, or approach such problems well whenever you have you know expressions with square roots always think about what you can possibly get with the conjugate so if you have the sum of Two square roots if you multiply that by the difference which is the conjugate right in this case so you basically have root a plus root b multiplied by root a minus root b and apply the formula you know of differences of squares or two quantities is basically the product of the sum and difference so so if we utilize that here we'll be basically getting you know this is as simple as 2x minus 1 minus x minus 1 because a minus b multiplied by a plus b is s squared minus b squared. So here a was root over 2x minus 1 and b was root over x minus 1. So, so this is just simple algebra. And then the left hand side of the equation we are given root over 2x minus 1 plus root over x minus 1 is 1. So on the left hand side we have 1 multiplied by root over 2x minus 1 minus root over x minus 1. And on the right hand side if we simplify that comes simply as x. So now our equation becomes root over 2x minus 1 minus root over x minus 1 is equal to x. So this is just you know starting with what we're given and, and then multiplying by its conjugate. Uh, to to get the basically a form that's of a minus b multiplied by a plus b and that equal to s square minus b square so just applying that simple uh, formula we are able to get this now we have the difference of these two quantities right here right so it's root over 2x minus 1 minus root over x minus 1 and what we're given if we go back to that again we're given root over 2x plus 1 plus root over x minus 1 is equal to 1. And we can treat them as if they're like, you know, two equations. We're given, you know, p plus q and p minus q. And in such case, we just eliminate one variable. So in this case, we will eliminate 2x minus 1. So we just subtract the two equations. And when we do that, we are left with minus 2 root over x minus 1 is equal to x minus 1. And x minus 1 on the right hand side can be further written as root over x minus 1 whole square, right? So now if we, you know, change sides, we are basically left with this equation, root over x minus 1 whole square plus 2 multiplied by root over x minus 1 is equal to 0. So from this, we can take root over x minus 1 as common. And then within parenthesis, we are left with root over x minus 1 plus 2. So for this equation to hold true, there can be two possibilities. The first one is x minus 1 is 0, right? Or we could have the other, other expression within the parenthesis, root over x minus 1 is equal to minus 2, right? So these are the only two possibilities. And then uh, if you evaluate each possibility, you basically get x is equal to 1. On the other hand, if you square that expression, you get x minus 1 is equal to 4. 
and uh, you know we basically have x equal to 1 or x equal to 5 as two potential roots. Now if I further check the equation that I had the original equation x minus x equal to 1 satisfies this equation because we have 2 multiplied by 1 minus 1 which gives 1 and then x minus 1 is 0 so we have root over 1 equal to 1 that makes sense but if I plug in x equal to 5 in my original equation then that becomes 2 multiplied by 5 minus 1 which is you know, root over 9 which is 3 and the other one becomes root over 5 minus 1 4 so I have basically 3 plus root over 4 is 2 so 3 plus 2 5 clearly that doesn't satisfy the original equation and there is a reason why this is the case because when we have within parentheses root over x minus 1 plus 2 our square root itself it's a positive quantity it can be at best equal to 0 right or it's a positive quantity it can't be negative and so that makes root over x minus 1 plus 2 should have to exceed 0 it has to be a positive quantity right because if root over x minus 1 can be either 0 or positive then root over x minus 1 plus 2 that that uh, that has to be a positive quantity so when I wrote when I equated this x minus 1 is equal to minus 2 root over x minus 1 is equal to minus 2 I assumed that root over x minus 1 plus 2 is equal to 0 which is actually a faulty assumption and that's why it led me to a root which did not satisfy the original equation so that's the reason in case you want to know why we had one root here that didn't satisfy the original equation because when I had those two expressions there root over x minus 1 multiplied by root over x minus 1 plus 2 the one within the parentheses root over x minus 1 plus 2 by definition it has to be greater than 0 because the square root is a positive one it can be at best equal to 0 at the lowest but it can't go any lower than 0 it can't be negative and I have plus 2 so, so that expression couldn't be possibly equated to 0 which is where I went wrong but I just wanted to work this in a regular way and show you the results you can arrive of course what is the wrong result but you can you know cross check that by plugging in the value in the original equation and and get the correct answer so the correct answer in this case is there is going to be only one root that one real value of x that satisfies this equation so the correct choice is option b